Hey everybody, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're going to go over a really neat little script that will help you place each individual page of a PDF into the flow of your text so that it can become basically an inline image and move along with the text flow as you need it. Let me show you why I needed this script. So I had a book that consisted of a lot of scientific journals. We no longer had access to the original Word manuscripts. All we had was the old PDFs of the publications. So we needed to insert those PDFs directly into the book. However, some of them were up to 17 or 18 pages long. And let me show you what InDesign does by default when you go to insert a PDF. Let's go to File, Place, we're just going to insert one of my fun college projects I had to do way back in the day. All right, so first of all, it's giving me an error. It says that it cannot crop to the trim box because either the trim box is not defined or is empty. Now, why is that happening? So the reason it did that was because I was inserted into this text frame when I asked it to place the PDF. First problem. Now, let's do that again. File place. I'm going to ask it to show me the import options. Okay, now, in my PDF import options, what happens if I tell it to sh give me all of the pages and for some reason this, this PDF does not have a trim on it. We'll just use the bounding box. Uh, sure, transparent background is fine. All right, so what does it do here? It loads each of the PDFs onto my cursor. All right, great. What happens if I just click and release? All right, it comes in at the size that it should. All right, now what I would need to do is to make more pages. I would need to make four pages for these PDFs to rest on, and I would need to drag them into their appropriate places. Put this one over here. Where do my other ones go? Okay, that one can go there. This one we'll put over here. All right, so, th th you know, this is fine if I was doing a simple project where I just needed a couple of pages, but in the project I was doing, I really, really, really needed those PDFs to move along with the flow of the text as if they were text. Often I will do this with an inline image. Take for example, if I, if I cut this PDF page and then I use my centered text style, I can paste that image frame into the text flow as if it is text. See now if I I can move this up and down. It's exactly the same as inserting a text frame into a word processor. That's the way that word processors treat text frames. However, this doesn't, there's not a way to do this easily with a multi page PDF where it will flow each page of the PDF one after the other into the flow of the text and allow it to slide along with my text as I want it to. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of everything that we added. I'm just going to delete these pages. I wrote a cry for help on an Adobe forum and lucky for me, M1B came to the rescue and helped me out. He wrote me a custom script that will do exactly what I need it to do. I will place the link to this forum down below. That way you can have access to the script text. He said it was free to use. Thank you very much, M1B. Shout out to you. So what happens if I try to launch this script over back in InDesign? I'm going to place my cursor into the text frame. And now I'm going to go launch the script, which I have called PDF Place All Pages into the Flow. Now, it's going to first fail because in order for this uh, script to work, it needs an object style for the PDF pages. So let's go ahead and make one of those. We're going to go to our object styles and we're going to make sure we're out of our text frame first. 
We're going to make a new style. We're going to do a few different things to this style to make it a little uh, nicer for us. So here's the name that we need to use it is PDF page. That's what the style needs to be called. Now you don't necessarily have to have anything in this style other than the name of it, but it is nice that we have the option that we can add some text frame rules and uh, position options, which we can come back and look at later. For now, we're going to click OK. Then we're going to come back again, put our cursor into the text frame, and we're again going to try to launch the script. It's going to bring up a modal where we can now go select the document that we want to use. Uh, let's find my project again. All right, when we click OK, here's what's going to happen. It's going to quickly run through and place those images into the flow of the text. Now it doesn't look like anything happened and that is because the images came in too big. See when I stretch out the size of my text frame suddenly we can see the images. Now why is this? This is because my PDF by default was set to export as an 8.5 by 11. What size is my text frame by default? Smaller than 8.5 by 11. So it becomes overset. When you're using this script, you need to make sure you are trying to insert your PDF pages into a frame that is bigger, at least the same size or bigger than the PDFs. Or we can go back to our object settings and do a little bit of fine tuning so that instead they will want to fit into a set size. Let's go back to our object settings. We're going to undo everything we just did and we're going to hop back over to our object settings. First we're going to go to our size and position options. We want to adjust the height and the width. So we need to make this height and width smaller, the same size or smaller than our current text frame. I can't remember exactly what it was, but 7 by 10 should do it. And then we want to go to the frame fitting options and we want our content to fit proportionally. Generally I like to use the above line for my anchored object options. It seems to play nicer with text. We definitely want the text wrap on this to jump the object because we don't want any text to end up behind our objects. And yes, it already is using the paragraph style that I made for the inserted PDF page. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and try this again. We're going to put our cursor into the text frame. Then we're going to launch the script. Scroll down to my PDF and we're going to pop that right in here again. Okay, you can see we're still having a bit of a problem here. That's because my frame is exactly the same height as my PDF image. If I stretch the frame out a little bit, then it pops into view. If you'll notice, this is an anchored object now. And whatever it is anchored to, which is going to be the line of text that it is anchored to, it has a letting and a couple of other settings that are probably adding a, just a hair of space before and after around it. So if I really wanted to eliminate that problem and make everything completely flush, I could go to my paragraph styles and I could give this style a, a letting of zero and I could make the size of it a little bit smaller. I'm going to double check there's no space before and after. Okay. But the safest thing to do is to make sure that your object settings uh, are just a little bit smaller than the text frames you're inserting them into. So we're going to hop back one more time into our object settings and fix that. Let's delete what we made. We're going to go down again to our size and position options. And then we're just going to make this a little bit smaller than it was before. 
that should get us down underneath the size of our default text frames. We're going to switch to our centered style position and we're going to launch the script again. Very good. There we go. So now the PDF has inserted itself one page after the other. And it slides along just perfectly, just like that. Of course, if you wanted these to be centered vertically on the page, what I would do is go to your parent frame, highlight both of these parent frames, and go to your text frame options. Tell them to be a center alignment. And that's going to kind of help draw your, um, your pages into the center. Now, I believe I've modified my script just a little bit to add an additional carriage return in between each of the items. If you find that your items are stacking one on top of the other, um, you may want to go into the code and add one more carriage return into the script. But now these objects are completely reflowable. So I can write more text in here if I like. I can make a, uh, I could, for example, make a big header in here. And then each of my PDF pages would slide along. And because I have Smart Text Reflow on, they will continue to generate more frames as they go. I could keep doing this all day long. I could keep adding in more pages. And every time this reflows, it's going to generate more pages and slide each of those PDF frames along as it goes. All right, everybody, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, click on another video over here. That helps us out, lets YouTube know that our videos are worth caring about. I hope you all found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.